I heard a story the other day that an author and lecturer had told a, a group of people, and it's about a, a little girl in first grade, and she talks about adoption. I want to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. Said in the story, teacher Debbie Moon's first graders were discussing a picture of a family. One little boy in the picture had a different hair color than the other members of the family. One of her students suggested that he was adopted. A little girl said, I know all about adoption. I was adopted. And the little boy said, well, what does it mean to be adopted? And she said, it means, said the girl, that you grew in your mommy's heart instead of her tummy. And I thought, wow, what a great way to explain adoption to a child, but also what a great way to understand that that's what we are. We're adopted into Christ. We are adopted into the family of God. And we were born, we, were, we grew in his heart. You know, over in uh, uh, Nicodemus, the story about Nicodemus, it talks about where, where Jesus said you have to be born again. And he said, well, I can't go back in the room. He goes, oh no, not by, not by the water, but by the spirit. You know, adoption is a process that makes one a legal son or daughter in the family and uh, that, that they weren't born into but they were brought into it through love. You know, Galatians 4, 4 through 5 says, but when the set time has come, God has sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption to sonship. And you know what that really means there too. It's a, it's a Greek term, adoption to son, uh, sonship. Is, it's, it's a legal term referring to full standing uh, of an adopted male into a Rome culture. So that would today would mean it's a full understanding and, and legal adoption for a son or daughter into the, into, uh, the family of God. Uh, over in John 1, 2, I'm sorry, John 1, 12 through 13, I read, but to all who did receive him, who believed his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. See, we're adopted. We're adopted into his family. And we were born out of love in his heart. Ephesians 1.5, God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. So welcome to the family of God. If you've received Christ as your savior, if you've accepted him, then you are part of the family of God. And you were born out of love. It was born in his heart. I hope you enjoy that today. And I hope you are part of the family. God bless everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.